Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, sometimes you know the economy is getting better just because it's not getting any worse. Some positive signs on the horizon. Um, Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez here now to talk about some of those signs. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, Always great to be back. You know, Orange County is leading our nation out of this uh, recession, out of this malaise. It, actually, we haven't been in a rece recession for about two years or so, but um, we are definitely picking up, and we see it here in Orange County. What are some of the signs that you're seeing? Well, there's this company called Morpho uh, Detection Incorporated. We just cut the ribbon on its uh, new facility here in Santa Ana, for example, just a couple days ago. And it does research and development. That's what we're really good about here in Orange County is all this research, development going on. What is it researching on. and developing? It's doing um, uh, those technical uh, machines and things we need at the airport so you won't have to take off your shoes, for example, when you go through TSA. Mm -hmm. You'll just walk through and its detection devices will tell us that there's no bomb material or what have you so in your shoes. So it detects the chemicals for Yes, it's a chemical, bomb. biological, radiation type of detection. We use a lot of it in the military, um, on border security, and at the airports, of course. Now you're uh, involved with the Homeland Security. What is it that we should be watching out for the most right now? What is the greatest terrorist thought that maybe we're not really thinking about? Well, you know, it's interesting with the terrorists because they always come up with new, new things. So we're worried about the shoes, but they've moved beyond that. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, they get to underwear bomber. Now we're worried about, oh my God, what's going on? But are you hearing people's? anything in committees that. Uh, um, not, not necessarily. I mean, they're very adaptable, these terrorists, but mm -hmm. we do know several things. One, whether it's a terrorist attack or whether it's a natural disaster, as we just had out there in New York, New Jersey area, mm -hmm. people need to be prepared our, in our own homes. Please have an emergency kit. Mm -hmm. Have one in your home. Have one in your car. Mm -hmm. Go through with your family what you're going to do um, if you get separated during something where there's no food on the shelves, there mm -hmm. uh, maybe no electricity, etc. Plan so who to call, plan, who's going to be your communication plan center. Plan how to things do that. Like that. That's the most important thing you can do. And the second thing people can do is keep your eyes open to what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. You know, there were six terrorist plotters who lived um, about eight houses away from me in my neighborhood mm -hmm. that luckily were turned in um, by others, um, but we never even knew. So anything strange going on at a particular home, report it. Okay. All right. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about the economy as well with the uh, economy and the jobs and uh, local uh, federal grants coming to this area. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, we just got $250,000 mm -hmm. for five years, so $1.25 million for Santa Ana College to help our veterans make sure that they're going back to school and that they're earning their degrees. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, we have this what we call a human trafficking task force here in Orange County. So we just got half a million dollars mm -hmm. to um, make sure that we're working on the sex trade. You know, we really want, it, it happens right here in Southern California. It happens in Orange County, we gotta get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And um, we also had um, some monies that went over to our Sheriff's Department for their DNA lab. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty interesting. There was a huge backlog there. That was becoming a problem for some prosecutors. So what's gonna be the change over there? Yeah, actually it's just gonna be better equipment, a more analysts who can help actually get all of this done, mm -hmm. and that's really good. Actually, Orange County is on the forefront. We get things turned around in about two, three, four weeks. If you're in L.A. County, for example, you're probably about six or eight months behind on DNA testing, but this will certainly help everything that's going on in Orange County. All right. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Thank getting you. Getting us up to date again, Loretta Sanchez, and thank you for joining us. Uh, we're glad you could be with us for this. You can also check us out on YouTube or the California channel. I'm Leslie Layton.